everyone, welcome back to another one of our BSAC Pro testing videos. In this video, I'm going to be checking out the Rovner ligature range. And specifically, I'm going to be checking out three ligatures. That's going to be the Versa, the Versa X, and the Legacy series. Now, Rovner are known for doing kind of mainly all leather or kind of fabric ligatures. These three ligatures, they have metal in them as well, so they have a metal plate of some sort. So the idea is that you're getting the best of both worlds. Go find you. Go find you out. Let's start with the Versa. Um, the Versa is the uh, Rovner ligature with metal plating that's been around the longest. Um, they put it out there to kind of target pro players. Um, and as you can see, it's got a double band of material. And then in the middle, we've got this kind of metal plate arrangement. Um, the nice thing about the Versa is that you can vary it a lot. The idea is that you can fine tune the ligature to your specifications or your needs. They do have these bits of um, material that can be kind of pushed up above the metal plate. And that's going to darken your sound down. Um, or you can have them both underneath and that will give you the kind of brighter edge um, that the Versa is known for. And this plate in the middle um, can also be removed and changed over. They give you a couple of different weights of this plate. So you can choose either one depending on when, whether you want that kind of heavier sound or the kind of more focused sound, or you can take it out completely. So they're really variable on that front. This is the Versa. Um, let's talk through how it played. Um, I really liked the way it played for me. It was quite even, um, really kind of responsive throughout the registers. The metal plate kind of stops that choking up effect you can get if you're using just a kind of canvas or leather ligature. Um, it's really nice and variable, which for me is a massive plus. I'm actually a big believer in having one mouthpiece, one reed set up, and lots of different ligatures. So actually, if you go with the Versa, then you kind of get multiple different ligatures in one product. Um, yeah, great piece, would work really well for kind of big band players, um, West End players, rock and R&B, all those kind of things. The only place it's maybe not as comfortable is in the classical world. Go find you. Go find you out. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at the Versa X. In design terms, it's quite similar to the Versa with one major difference. So we've still got this two kind of double layer of material here, um, but instead of having a single plate, um, we've got four this time. As you can see, you can still have the kind of flaps of material over the plate, or you can have them underneath, depending on whether you want the darker or the lighter tone. Um, the extra plates in there, I'm expecting to get a bit more of kind of those upper overtones. Uh, so I would imagine it's going to be immediately a little bit brighter for me. It's worth mentioning that with this one, um, the plates are riveted in place. So unless you have some pretty specialist tools, you're always going to be stuck with kind of full plate variety. Um, you can theoretically take them out, um, but you do need some pretty specialist tools for the, the, every kind of like day person that's not a reality. So this one I find is maybe not quite as versatile as the normal Versa. Let's give it a blow and see how it sounds. Right, so straight away, 
this one was brighter for me. It definitely punched more. Those upper overtones were ringing more, and that's because we've got extra plates in there. Um, I felt like the sound wanted to kind of break slightly more. Um, so I think this would work really well if you're playing kind of rock and roll or R&B. Um, if I pop the flaps over, then I think that extra kind of darkness would also make it work quite well in a section. Um, so yeah, pretty versatile, but not quite as versatile as the Versa. Go find you. Go find you All right, so the final one to have a bit of a closer look at is the Legacy series. It's really quite similar to another one of their ligatures called the Star Series. So it's got a nice thin um, leather kind of layer there. It's got these bigger bars on top, so that's going to help with resonance. So I'm expecting it to be bright straight away. And then if we add in this metal plate, that's going to kind of turbocharge that a little bit. Um, I'm hoping it still is going to retain some body though. This one, uh, Rovner or Rovner, depending on how you're pronouncing it, um, a saying should give you that kind of classic jazz auto link sound. So uh, in my mind, I'm thinking Coltrane, Sony, those kind of guys. Hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit of that out of this uh, ligature. Let's give it a blast and see what it sounds like. This is my favourite of the three by far. It definitely had a brightness to it, but wasn't quite as bright as the Versa X. Um, it kind of gave an extra central core to the sound, um, which I really like. Um, and it allowed this mouthpiece, which is a rather gorgeous one, um, a vintage link, um, to blow with its own character. Um, it wasn't colouring it too much. Um, what I also found was the articulation on it was spot on. I was really able to kind of play with my articulation more freely. So kind of ghost tonguing stuff, um, probably slap tongue really nicely on this one. It was really precise in that articulation. So when you're playing jazz, actually one of the things people never really mention is how important an individual your articulation can be. So I would definitely recommend this piece for the jazz players out there. It's going to blow really nicely for you. So let's just do a little summary for you. I've got the three ligatures just here. I'm just going to give you a little bullet point kind of talk through them. So first one, the Versa. Really, really versatile. Um, kind of designed at pro players. You can pop plates out of it. You can move flaps around. So you can get kind of from a, a medium bright tone all the way down to a medium dark tone. Works really well and it's really versatile. The Versa X. Basically the Versa, but on steroids. So apart from the extra plates in there, the design is almost identical. You can move the flaps around so you can play with your color. I found that um, as it comes out of the factory with none of the plates or kind of the fabric moved, it's a bit brighter than the Versa, um, but it also seemed to play with a more even tone top to bottom of the horn. Um, gonna work really well for the pro players and also for people who are looking to kind of blend into sections. So beginners and pros alike, definitely check that one out. And my favorite out of these three is the Legacy series. Now the Legacy series has a much thinner band of fabric on there and just one plate. You can't really vary it too much, but what we will find is that the articulation on it is really, really precise. You can make tiny subtle differences to your embouchure, your airstream and the way you're tonguing and they kind of correspond to pretty major differences in sound. So great piece, particularly for kind of jazz, blues, R&B players, anyone who's looking to kind of push that envelope a little bit in terms of the sounds they're creating, definitely check out the Legacy series. Fantastic pieces. Go find you. 